Hello, audience, and welcome to the Guild of Adventurers side quest. Lavender and Friends background story. Today will be I, Isaac Gutierrez, playing Lavender Storm. N, accompanied as always by the ever charming Umberto as Kuna Zin. And finally, our always humorous, intelligent, and witty DM, Mac. We all welcome you to the Guild of Adventurers side quest. You know what, I, okay, I'm gonna try to do something, and uh, you feel free to say no, Mac, because this is kind of pushing it, and I know that. Can I roll stealth, or a charisma check or something, to try to cast charm person without him noticing? Mm, no, I don't think so, because that would be, because mm, that's like, um... Yeah, I, yeah, I know that yeah. person naturally makes you make a save you remember in the first place, so I understand that's a little too much. Yeah, I don't think you'd be able to do that. Okay. I cast your person then. I say, Oh, friend, may I ask you a question? Yeah, shoot. Okay, what's the save? Uh, 14. Okay. I got a 11. Yes. Okay, cool. So for the next hour, he sees me as his best friend. Yeah, his eyes glaze over. Friend. Yeah, what's up? You're 100% <laughs> honest with me, right? Of course, man. And you heard... That the guy and he kind of stroll he strolls over to the middle wagon and starts undoing the lock. Uh, I go and cover the lock. What are you doing? I'm just getting some stuff for us. You know the usual. Some yeah. of our little, you know, mushrooms, so on. Cool now. Hey, you said cool now? Yeah, I just said cool now. Like cool now. Like kind of like, what are you feeling? I, I feel like we should alert everyone what you said. Agreed. I think we should take a camp meeting. Uh, watch him. Uh, yeah. I go wake everyone up. Tell the elf. Okay. You want to like go to each camp one or each tent one at a time? Is there like a uh, actually no on the carriages? Is there like a bell or something I can ring that will get everyone's attention? No, you could like slap the caravan with something. I guess you could smack your spear against it several times and shout. I'll do that. I'm like, all right, wake up, everybody, wake up. We got news. Yeah, everyone starts crawling out of their tent. Uh, you see everyone but the elf. Mm. Charlie's back! Guess what, guys? I know what the bandits are planning. Uh, the dwarf immediately, uh, spumbles for his, um, mace. Hey, dwarf, do hey, 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 Gilbert, Gilbert, careful, let's- don't hurt yourself. <laughs> or anyone else, please. What's... What's... What's the plan? We kill him now? Char uh, Charlie, you could ease, since you escaped from the camp, you could lead us back to the camp, right? Of course! Oh, by the way, everybody, uh, I dispelled the charm person on Charlie. Charlie, I apologize, I cast charm person. He, he blinked several times. What the heck? Did you just... You cast a spell on me. Charlie, we're in very dangerous territory. Do you think it's uh, uh, unwise for me not to make sure that you're being too you, you can't just... Charlie, I apologize for doing it, but we're in a dangerous situation. Either you can shut up and accept it, or we can or you can, you, we can we discuss it, and that's going to take way too long. Whatever. Thank you. I look at everyone else. So... Do you guys want to take the bandits? Do you guys want to try to mess up their trap? Or do you want to take the second? Wait, the, hold on, there's there's one more thing. Uh, while I was there, they were talking about their inside man. and They referred to him as pointy ears. The elf! I yell it. Hey, look around. The elf's not here. I start yelling. I knew it! I knew it! Like, it's like a child jumping. It was the fucking elf! <laughs> Is there anyone else with pointy ears, like, in our, like, in a, as a Halflings? Like, halflings I... have pointy ears. Tabaxi have pointy ears. Half elves have pointy ears. Yeah, I figured. <laughs> so... About half the people here have pointy ears. Lavender. Everyone here, there's a lot of people here with pointy ears. I get your suspicions. 
<laughs> I get that. But to point fingers and accuse somebody, we won't be any better than the bandits to kill someone off because we assume that someone will point the ears did it and we just go after him. I mean, they also called him Leaf Lover. <laughs> yeah, Druid! Also called him, uh, Stick Butt. <laughs> yes, he has a uh, stick up his ass! Uh, <laughs> that is a lot of a lot of words for him, actually. <laughs> uh, I guess I am losing this battle to convince you it's not. I'm losing this battle, I guess, because I guess that is pointing straight to him. At this point, the elf strides back into camp. I turn immediately. Seems I've missed something. Yes, you did. Elf. Excuse elf. me. Yeah, Davener, let me speak. You guys are not in good terms. Elf, we want to speak to you. This guy right here, I pointed, I pointed to Charlie. Charlie has been to the camp. He escaped it. And Has so he? far, he's been telling the truth. And he said that you are the inside man for them. Is there any truth to this? Well, I'd say he's lying. I cast Charm Person. There's no way he could have not. Right. Oh, oh, yeah, I thought you were saying you're... Oh, right. Well, I hate to break it to you, but I'm not the bandit captain. What proof do you have for that, sir? Considering that many of ourselves elected a dwarf have been injured or killed, you understand why we need a little bit more proof than that, right? Well, you have the fact that I've been watching your backs for this entire journey. What? Against my better judgment, might I add. Maybe, oh, I don't know, when the first night that you took watch, it'd be very easy if during your watch, the bandits took out our wheel so they had a chance to kidnap the other dwarf. During your watch, there's plenty of time. I told you before, little kitten, that you should watch what you say to me. You Implying that I, working against the group which I have sworn to protect, would be going directly against that claim. And again, you keep saying swear, but you just claim some supposed queen. Tell me her name. Right now, full name. Of the queen Angela. Full queen name. Angela. If queen Angela Marincota. Queen Angela Marincotha. I look at everyone else. Is that a queen that any of you know? No, I don't know. I really hang around the elves. Can I roll something? Yeah, can I History roll check. Like... Does it check? Uh... Uh, that's Let's see how easy I roll the 19. I don't know your bonuses. That's enough. Yeah, that's the right name. Hmm. Uh, oh, okay. So he already wrote it. Oh no, I, I rolled it for you, Kuna. Oh, okay. Thank you. Yeah. So, Kuna, you're the one that knows it's not Lavender. He's... He told the truth. That is an actual queen. Yes, as I have been for this entire journey. Now can we stop with these foolish accusations oh, and finish our you journey? To, you have to understand. Out of everyone here, you're the most mysterious one. And the fact that he came back telling us the truth the queen, uh, we're not the queen. pointing fingers, and I don't I'm want afraid there's to been a misunderstanding. Not... You seem to be under the impression that the queen told me to protect this caravan. Am I right? Oh, well, that's kind of no. I told you, no. I told you that. I told you that I was an emissary visiting the town, and that the mayor needed my help, and I saw it as an opportunity to gain reputation for the queen. I'll tell you this right now. I literally just listened to the recording, and like out of character, you mentioned none of this. I, I did. I said he was an emissary. I literally just listened to the recording. You mentioned emissary. You did not bring up any of this. You just said emissary for the queen, and then called me kitten. Yeah. Again, he I just look. said he was an emissary. No, no. I'm telling you right now, though. Like, uh, I look at him and like. An em Okay, an emissary's job is not to protect care. Caravan. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying, Mac. As I'm saying, okay, okay, he's look. Claiming that he just told us this before, and I'm telling you that Lavender and Isaac both know that, that he did not. Say what, what he's saying he told you before is that he was an emissary, and then he elaborated on it. Okay, cool. Hmm. I look at you, Kuna. Just shrug. Can you show us any proof? Everything is lining up to you, and 
I'm you, not one of those point fingers. No and he reaches, to... he reaches in, into, uh, like, he reaches up and holds up his sleeve, and there's a, like, little buckle on it with a charm. Uh, it's a picture of a maple leaf with a, uh, beating heart over it. Sir, that just tells us either your clan or your kingdom. If you're an emissary, you would have papers to show other royalty or guards who get into places. If you're as truly an emissary, my, you show me your papers. My papers were presented to the mayor. So with my history, do I know, I know what he told us? I do not have them anymore. Because I gave them to the mayor. Make... Lavender, make a... Uh, History check. I'll just say, well, my history check, can I, like, confirm what he showed us? And, like, to yeah, everything seems... Like... Everything he's saying makes sense so far to you, Kuna. Mm, Isaac doesn't think that makes sense. You get your shit back. I, I don't... I'm gonna be honest. Out of character, I don't know much about how emissaries work. That's it. That I don't want to put pressure on the character. If that was okay, I'll, I'll, I'll hold off on the character then. If that's if that's why. Okay. I'm I'm just kind of making like I didn't write like a page backstory. I kind of wrote like key details for each character. Like, yeah. I think let's just say. Real, let's just say everything he it. said so far, his story lines up. I'll say that much. Okay. So I'm gonna say I'm gonna say the lavender. I, I'll. So this is Lavender, yes, this is Lavender basically um, is going on not knowing. I'm going to stop. Lavender, please listen to me. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of things pointed to him, but everything he's saying right now, he's telling the truth. In my years of travel, I've... No, my not years of travel, because he's in traveling. Cut that out. In my years, and meeting elves and meeting dwarves, Meeting then going there basically so basically backstory people come to the I told you before people come to the mountain back and forth, so I'm making it up to the mountain, blah blah. Um right, tell me of all the elves don't tell me as valid as please. I don't know, but I'm just trying to like just let you know where I'm getting it from kind of thing, because I have not written a backstory. Um but of all the elves I met, he's telling the truth hundred percent. There's no hesitation in his voice and everything reads off perfectly. It's well, that would be insight. You have a history check. You don't know about the hesitation in his voice. That would be insight. Oh. Yeah, uh, what he's saying lines up, but you don't know if he's telling the truth or not. Yeah, so everything he's saying is lining up, but... Okay. So far, there's nothing really... Po like, there's nothing really to go on. Mac? He's telling the truth for everything he has been saying so far. I'm gonna roll an insight yeah. check. Go for it. That is mm, 12. Can I also roll a 12, two? You can't like, tell. Uh, I'm right next to you? Yeah. Uh, do you want to roll for me, Lavender? Yep. I'll get the Kuna dice. Oh my Kuna god. Kuna dice. 20. The Kuna dice are doing- He's telling the truth. Okay. Yeah, yeah, Kuna can tell he's telling the truth. I put my hand on Lavender's shoulder. Lavender, I get you hate this man, but we're wasting our breath. Fine. For once, the Goliath has more intellect than the cat. I don't say anything. I just stare at him. Yeah. Just because Kuna's be this here. If Kuna wasn't here, I probably would have already cast Tasha City's laughter and slit his throat. But since Kuna's here, I don't say a word. Yep. We wasted enough time. It's your shift now. We should all go to sleep. Hey, and get as much rest as we can. That sounds like a good idea. Uh, tensions are high enough as it is. We should be celebrating that Charlie got back. That's all. Yes, but now we still have to decide if we want to live or die. Considering that either Charlie's telling 100% truth and we get ambushed, or and we can go the other path, and maybe they trick Charlie and we still get killed. So tell me, Kathy. Why are you so cheerful? Hey, only... I'm tr trying to be a peacemaker. I'm not... You're directing your anger to the wrong person. Yes, I <clears throat> I apologize, Kathy. You're right. So I want to relate everything that we uh, heard from Charlie to the elf, assuming that he didn't hear anything because he came in late about yeah, the, okay. the ambush, the archers, anything like that. Um, elf. So that's well, if you ask me, he's already lied once. He said I get that, but we can't. I was the traitor. We cannot. I'd say it's pretty clear who the traitor is. Your leaf loving stick up his ass guy and that's from the bandits and charlie not even me
He glares at you. Well, anyone who works with me would know not to call me such things. Yeah, hey, l listen, what guys. I, 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 uh... I'm only saying what I heard, alright? I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to deceive you or anything. Right. That's what I'm scared of, is that I do think you're telling the truth. But what they are trying to deceive you, Charlie? What if we're just trapped? Well, if we're trapped, then there's really no point in having this conversation. That sounds like... That was Jack. Yeah, that sounds like giving up. Do you just want to die? Is your life that little... If they were ahead. Okay, look, I think the smart thing to do would be to go now. Because from what it sounds like, we're debating the legitimacy of where the trap is and not whether or not there is a trap. So if we go now, then the bandits won't be ready? That's what I'm hoping. That's an amazing idea, Jack. I, I don't mean that sarcastically. That's a genuinely good idea. Thank you. Uh, he Lavender kind of gives him like a nod, like not apologetic, but like you know what, good job. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> I, I never said you were, Kuna. <laughs> Think about this. Do you, I, I? I actually, for once, agree with Jack, a hundred percent. What do you mean, for once? He kind of winks at you. It, sometimes it's like ninety percent. Okay, sure. <laughs> I mean, we're all up anyway. <laughs> Lavender kind of laughs at Jack. Probably the first time in hours. Uh, Dorf says, uh... That sounds like a good idea to me. Thank you. Guna? And we should make our way. We should ambush the ambushers. I like it. But, uh, we should all be armed. Even if some of us aren't meant to fight, we should be able to defend ourselves. Agreed. Uh, is there... who... who cannot be armed with the weapons we have on hand? Uh, everyone seems pretty confident. No, I don't mean confident, like, it, does everyone have, like, more than a dagger? Uh, oh, oh, let's see, let's see. Uh... So, Shyla and Kendrick both have swords. Duke Eastool has a spear. Okay. Uh, I'd say Kathy, Charlie, and Albert wouldn't have weapons. I call them kind. Uh, Albert, Charlie, uh, Kathy, may I speak? Yes, of course. They all kind of walk over. I start rummaging. I, I hop on the caravan. I come down with spears and short bows and some arrows. Uh, please. Okay. I. I know we don't all trust each other. And I apologize again to you, Kathy, for speaking so terse to you. I, I regret it. But, um, I understand, honey, you were under a lot of stress. Remember what I said yesterday? I smile. Thank you. Uh, we should all... We all have an equal right to protect ourselves. So, uh, I, I lay in front of them each a spear and a short bow and some arrows. Please, make sure you're safe. Okay, yeah, they take it up, and the elf says... Additionally, considering everyone here has healing capabilities, we should take advantage of that. We shouldn't be going to this trap with everyone simply walking alongside the caravan like they would expect us to. Should we be inside to maybe even protect from arrows? Uh, the thing is, there's not much room inside. Well, let's get innocence in there first, such as Kathy and everybody, and us more well-armed, such as me and Kuna, or you, Kill, or uh, I kind of like gestures like to even to the even you, seeing your pointy ears, are more capable than them, so we can take the up front brunt up top, and they can fire arrows from inside. Okay, yeah, so, so Duke E and the dwarf start kind of clear, clearing out some space. Uh, the dwarf kind of takes out this whole ba entire barrel of alcohol from the front wagon, Looks at it somberly and then rolls it off into the woods. Oh, uh, Lavender taps him on the back and cries a little bit. Yeah. Uh, and then he, and then after that, they, they kind of look at you and goes, uh, Duke E says, There should be room for two of us in there. I should go in so that I can keep whoever the other person is safe. You know what? The thing is, Duke, you're such a capable fighter. I, I would feel more safe if you were with me. 
Of course. Only when you guys are all killed by the bandits. I will have to be the one to protect uh, the damsel in distress. And he, he smiles at um, uh, Shyla. <laughs> yes, while I understand your heroic desire, I'd rather not be dead by the time you come save us. If that makes sense. No. Uh, right. <laughs> I suppose I'll have to uh, fight on the uh, outside. Then. <laughs> Thank you for your heroic deeds, I say, almost sarcastically. Uh, at this point, Ken Kendrick speaks up. That's the old man. He says, well, I, I'd like to ask that my daughter takes one of these spots. Father, I, I'm a, no, the... The tabaxi should take one of them, and probably also the dwarf. He's crippled. I'm not crippled. I can fight fine with one arm. I agree with Kendrick. You should be Kathy and you, Shyla. Please. Let us take the- No, please, I- <sighs> Okay. I appreciate your bravery, young one. I do. But please, remember, we're here to keep you safe. Yeah, the, uh, she looks at her father, and they kind of hug and whisper a few things back and forth, and then she climbs in, and then Kathy climbs in the other wagon. So, one person will be in the front wagon, one will be in the back wagon. Uh, who do you want in the front, who do you want in the back? Uh, fuck, I don't want to take that responsibility, Kuna. Um... Well, let's do 50-50. You, you choose one side, I choose the other side. That's not how that works. Okay. Um. So we need to keep. Okay. Ah. Uh, That's like flipping a coin and let both people choose individually which slide they want. <laughs> yes. So basically, do you want Kathy up front? Oh <laughs> well, yeah. That's what I'm trying to figure out. Like. Uh, we'll be the sick because the ones that need more defense, like the fence around them, should be in the safest area. So wherever Wait, I am or where. I just realized they keep it I need to back, take. Right? Listen, I need to take a short break so you guys can talk about this if you want. Oh, yeah, wherever, yeah. Um. Oh, fuck. So, like. Because they. So, Kuna, is it just me? Are they been attacking the back specifically more often? Well, the back has been the most exposed besides me being back there but every time i was in the back like nothing happens but when i'm not there something does happen yeah so do you want to be in the back with so, shyla and i'll be up front with kathy yeah because what's, what's your ac anyway you're so you're 17 or 18. 18 with my shield but i can take more damage than you like for arrow fire or something like that like i so, said yeah so well, if you be in the front, you, you're fast. Like, you can head right back to us and kind of regroup pretty fast. So I would say you take the front, I'll take the back. With your perception, that would be really good to see in the area in front of us. Mm -hmm. And then with my kind of, like, defense, it would be good for me to kind of, like, give you guys a heads up. And your speed will be able to kind of compensate on whatever side you're on, really. Yeah. True, true, true. Feline agility will help there. Um... Yeah. So I think that would be the best decision uh, if we're going to go that route because my AC is a 17 but I have like double your health so I'll be able and plus I can also use stone stone endurance because you know so I can take I can take damage regardless True. and I, I can actually if I see something going my way I have advantage on dexterity throws so it makes sense for me to go where it's mostly happening and I think I should go stay in the back so I think that should be official you fun I'm back and We'll keep Kathy and the ones that are not capable in the back, and then ones a little more capable but need protection go in the front. Well, Kathy. Are you Kathy is so you're saying you want Kathy in the back and Shyla in the front, then hidden. Basically, because Shyla's a little more capable than Kathy so far is what we know, you know. All right, uh, Lavender like winks at you and says, "Don't worry, I'll keep your little girl safe." I blush and she's on. No, I'm. Uh, don't worry, I'll make sure she doesn't die. I gotta go, I need to be on duty. Yeah, I, I go all the way to the back. Go to the back. 
Yeah, they come, come. <laughs> um, Mac also wants us to discuss uh, where we're gonna have everybody. So like, uh, and which path? So are we going the path that we know the ambush is on, or are we gonna go the side path? So, we're gonna go to the side path. Not on the ambush, because if they're there before us, like if they're already like, you know, they're there, we don't want to risk that. But if we're on a side, we can spot them and maybe catch them. Yeah, we can, this shit. If they're not there yet, if we left pretty much, once he ran away, that means it's still night. Maybe we should just go straight through. Then it'd be the faster. Because it would be faster and like by the time we go longer, it might even be day and the bandits like checking, sending a scout to our camp might even figure it out. That makes sense. Yeah. I know. So my one thing is is both La uh, Isaac Isaac would say that we just go straight through lavender. Oh, well, I Isaac likes the idea of lavender. But uh, if a path is safe, but lavender uh, is very worried that what if we have the wrong information? Yeah. So I think we should trick the group. I think we should trick the group. Um, and what I mean by that is everyone thinks we're going down, like going to do the ambush. And so does the elf. If we tell the front driver not to do that, um, to basically like before they basically take a second um, area, everyone will get a little caught off guard by it. And then we'll kind of go off that. Because if they have a, uh, someone on the inside, they they'll probably know almost immediately what we're doing kind of thing. If, if, if they're that reliable and if they're that sneaky, I don't know what they're using to kind of figure that out. But that's just my thinking. Like maybe if we're going to shake things up a little bit. But I, I, I maybe disagree a little bit is that uh, two things. If you go now, it would take way too long for the bandits to get together by the time it actually gets us to get there. Say, for that part. And two, uh, wouldn't they notice that we're not going down the main path? Yeah. I don't know, I'm trying to figure out a way to like... No, it's, I mean, I'm, I'm just throwing out ideas. Like, it doesn't mean they're great ideas. I, I Trust me, there's no fight for me. <laughs> I don't, like, I don't really care. I just want to make sure that we all come together, to, you know, consensus and figure it out. Like, so I'm okay with the, it not working out. I'm just throwing out every idea I can and we'll just kind of figure it out because... At the end of the day, I don't really see there's a right answer, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, yeah, me, me. Oh, oh, I'm back. Are, are you guys ready to roll out? Uh, oh yeah, so real quick, uh, Kuna, where do you want to go? Yeah. Um, that's what we're supposed to be talking about. So the no, you're good. Speculation's good, too. Yeah, so the elf is going to stay in the middle because the elf yep. seems to have a wide range of spells to be able to, you know, defend the front and back. Yeah. I'm going to be in the back with Kathy. Kathy's going to be safe in the in the carriage. I guess we kind of, kind of said she's going to be somewhere tucked in or tucked away hiding. Uh, in the front is going to be uh, Lavender. Lavender and the girl. Um, she's going to be up there with them because she's more capable than that. Uh, and then... Yeah, but worst comes to worst, she has more, you know, more, yeah. She's more willing to, like, kind of want to fight and defend herself. And okay, help. what about the dwarf? Um, the dwarf is going, is going to be back on me. Jack is going to be up in front. Duke? Oh, okay. With Lavender. Duke is going to be with Elf, because we don't want to hear shit. And Charlie <laughs> is going to move over to carry, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Charlie's what? Charlie's. Driving? Driving? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's a driver, so it doesn't really matter. Um, uh, can I, go to the I think that's everyone. Then... Yeah. Hmm. What is it? I stab my spear face down into the carriage. Oh, I thought you were about to say you stab him. No, 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 no. Yeah, he stabbed him right in the fucking neck. <laughs> I, I reach my paw out, and I say, We are about to go into a very serious combat. May we now, for now, say peace between us so that we may both come out alive. And at the end, if you're still mad at me, I understand. But for now, during combat, may we at least hold peace so that we both be survive. He just kind of glares for a second and then slowly raises his hand to shake it. I appreciate it. Thank you. That's all I ask. And, uh... Make a constitution save. <laughs> uh, during combat, consider me your friend. And I walk away, grabbing my spear. As I said before, 
I would not turn on my allies no matter how much I may disrespect them. Same. Are you guys ready to go? Yes. Uh, yes. Okay. Is anyone riding on top of the wagons? Oh, me. Okay, you're on top of the front one then. Uh, everyone else is on foot? Uh, probably yeah, because they can hide behind the carriage and such. Right, Kuna? Okay, you, do you want them to hide? Well, I mean, just if the arrows start flying, I mean. Like, if arrows start flying... Oh, 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 Yeah, okay. they, like, they make you say, like, yeah, tucking close to the carriage kind of thing. Okay, then. Uh, with my shield, I'll... Uh, just because I'm right and behind him, can I... Can I put my shield kind of next to Kendrick? So if... If he needs it, he can block arrows coming at him. Or I can call... Uh... Any my shield? I'd say you'd have to give him your shield, yeah. Alright, I, I do it. Uh, Kendrick, you seem like the nicest man here, and I really would... I really would be sad if you got hurt, so please, take my shield. Thank you. I appreciate it. Just keep my daughter safe. I will, and I grab my spear with both hands. Let's go. And if it comes down to it, I'll fight alongside you. I appreciate you, sir. Um, okay. You guys ready to roll out? Yep. Yep. Alright. So everyone lines up. Gets into Skyla, gets into the front caravan. Kathy gets in the back. Lavender and Jack take up the front. Yes, it is. It's probably uh, it's a, it's a, maybe like one o'clock in the morning. Uh, I'll hold. Like, um, uh, the elf, yeah, the elf and Duke E flank the middle caravan, and Kuna, you and the dwarf stay uh, walk a few feet behind the back caravan, and Lavender being in the front. Oh, which path are you guys taking? Uh, main path. Oh, well, yeah, we're gonna main path. Around. Okay, Lavender, make a perception check. <gasps> uh, okay, I rolled a 17 plus... 1... plus... Uh, unnat 20. Unnat 20, okay. E here. Interesting. Okay, Lavender. Yeah? Uh, you guys are walking. Uh, now, to get to the village, uh, Kendrick explains it'll probably be about four hours. Um, uh, by the way, you guys short rested. You didn't long rest, right? Because you didn't take the full eight hours. Um, so... Fucking so roll my hit. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm full health again with my hit dice. So as you were walking, about half an hour in, you realize Jack's not there anymore. He's not behind you. I look at that Kuna. I look at, down at the elf, and I look down at the Dookie. Did you see where Jack went? No. Huh. Uh. Maybe he's, maybe he's peeing. <laughs> oh, I look at the at Duke and the elf. Like, you guys are right there in the middle. You, you would have seen him left, right? I was focused on watching the tree line. Ah. Oh. I say out loud, I'm very concerned Jack may have been our mole. So do we keep going? Yes. <clears throat> Kendra, can we uh, pick up the pace? Absolutely. I'm glad you asked. And he whips the horses, and you guys kind of pick up to a trot. Uh, you guys actually have to kind of jog to keep up with the caravans. Um, another hour passes. Each tree you go by at one point, Kuna, you hear a ruffle in the bush to your right. And you raise your weapon, ready to attack, and it's just a deer looking up at you. Um, at one point, you pass under uh, a large uh, tree, which several crows fly out of, cawing as they soar into the sky. And eventually, at the two-hour mark, everyone's still tense. Uh, maybe some of you are a little bit sleepy still, having not gotten your full rest. Lavender? Uh, you guys come to the intersection. What intersection? Uh, left or right? Uh, straight or the side path? Oh! Uh, I'll tap Kendrick. Uh, straight, please. Okay. We gotta get and you guys keep going straight. Another hour passes. Way, out of character, I kind of de uh, disconnected. So we said uh, Jack disappeared. Was there anything like that happened after that? Because I got disconnected for a little bit. No, not really. No, uh, I talked to the elf and the and Duke, and none of them saw him. And 
I out loud said to the caravan, I'm worried that Jack may have been our mole, and that we may be fucked. Alright. But... Uh, oh, Jack has not returned wait, no, we haven't, did you pick... So you tell me have you, you picked, you picked the path yet? It's passed, and he has not returned. That's correct. I look. Have you picked the path yet? Yeah, we, we were picking straight. But that's what uh, Jack last heard. Oh, I quickly tap Ken to the let's go side path. Okay, you guys take the side path. Uh, so another hour passes. Uh, Lavender, make another perception check. Oh my god. <gasps> Yay! Uh, 22. Even higher. 22. About 10 feet in front of the horses, as you guys are walking, you realize there's a discrepancy in the path. It's super dark and hard to tell, but it looks like a pit track. Hey, stop! Stop the horse! Okay, he barely manages to stop. As, as the wagon slows to a halt, right over the path, the horses go up on their back legs and neigh. And the wagon kind of goes backwards. The the medicine wagon bumps into it a little, little bit as everyone stops abruptly. I hop up, and what looks like the pit trap, I'd like to take my spear and poke it. Yeah, the entire thing collapses into an, a 20 by 30 foot pit that's about 10 feet deep with slick oil coating the bottom. Well, sirs, I, well, no bandits, I, it does appear we have traps, so... What's going on ahead? Uh, pit trap. Let's go around it, and from now on, I'll be walking in front of the horses, jogging. Yeah, Can't looking stop. around uh, Kuna, you notice up in the trees to the right, there's a log hung horizontally across the branches with some ropes tied to it that looks like it could be pushed off and swing across the path where you guys are. Oh, kind of like a... Like a As if an ambush, if people were there. Yeah. I kind of do like a little whistle, and I point up at it for everyone to kind of see what I'm looking at. Yeah, as everyone looks up, you realize there are several of these around this path. Thank God there's no one here. Or thank Faelor there's no one here. And you guys keep going? This time, I'll yes. Be horses. Uh, if a fall happens, I'll be the one taking that. Right. Uh, you walk for another 30 minutes. You're about a half hour out from the village. Everyone starts to get a little bit excited. They're, it's clear they've started to adjust to the fact that they're probably going to get out of this alive. And then, oh, fuck. as kind of the darkness, uh, your eyes pierce the darkness, Lavender, up ahead, you see about a dozen men standing perpendicular to the path, blocking your way forward. And as you guys come close, you stop the wagons. I, I don't actually go that escape. And they... Like, you're about 50 feet out as soon as you see him. Yeah. I'm like, stop. They, they kind of come out of the sides of the woods and, and stand uh, to block your path. And as they do, yeah. one final individual steps out of the woods in front of them and looks at you. It's a familiar face. Oh, Jack. You the halfling face of Jack. Jack, I, I knew says, it. I'm sorry, boys. We did you figure know, it out. We've been getting a little bit desperate. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to kill you, my friend. Uh, I look at Kendrick, and I get up, and I just say, rush him. Go. Wait, I didn't get to monologue yet. Nope, I grab Kendrick, I say, fuck that, fuck your <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, before you do that, don't you want to know why we're here in these woods? I toss his hitties laughter, Jack, if I have to. Fucking kick it. <laughs> okay, okay, he kicks it. Do you want him just to plow through these guys? Yeah, fuck these guys. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, yeah, you're still 50 feet out. out. I just say, go! Alright, everyone roll initiative. Uh, Give me a second, I'm actually gonna pull my shit up. Um, awesome, 23. <laughs> I rolled another 19. Uh, uh, uh... Yeah, I'm at a beautiful 14% battery. Uh, let's see, let's see. 14 plus 3, 17. Okay, so Kuna gets 17. I need to go to another page for this. Uh, Lavender got what? Uh, 22. <laughs> Dex is the only thing I'm very, very good at. That and Charm. I have a decent amount of Dex for... I didn't really have to put much in decks, but I still wanted it for the saving throws and stuff as a frontliner. It's a, it's useful. It's really 
To me, Dex and Charisma are two of the more useful things in this game. Well, it's nice to have a plus three and like, it gives me a little advantage for like stealthy stuff because I'm a big guy, so it's nice to have that. It's All right. All right. <laughs> uh, right. I'm sorry, I'm just getting everything in order. Okay, Lavender, you're up first. I'm riding, uh, let's see if I have So I'm riding the, the, the carriage while we're plowing forward towards Jack, right? Yeah, you're maybe about 30 feet out. I don't want him to jump out of the way. I want to cast Toss to see his laughter. All right. The wisdom save. Yep. Okay. Uh, that's a 22. Oops. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to get my dice. Here we go. Okay, I got a 14 plus 2, 16. Oh wait, no, it's ju it's just fourteen. Oh, okay then. Good luck, Jack. All right, he's la he's laughing. Yep, he's laughing on the ground right in front of the carriage. All right. So he collapses to the ground and starts laughing maniacally. That's your action. Yep. And then my bonus action, I tap uh, uh, Kendra, give him uh, bardic inspiration, and say, "You got this. Just get us to the town." All right. Uh, next up is Jack. He's laughing. Does he get to make another save on his uh, turn? Only if he gets attacked by one of his allies. Or uh, either attacked by us or shaken uh, free by his ally. He himself cannot make a save. Okay. Okay. I'm going to just go back to the spell so I can see how to play with this. If you enjoyed that episode, then look for more at youtube.com slash wolfer28, Spotify at Building a Guild of Adventures, or if you really want to watch us record our stories in person, or maybe our DMs write for our sessions or build maps, join us at Twitch at the Guild of Adventures. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye. Oops. Okay, that's a 10, so he fails. And then it is the... Okay, so half the bandits kind of jump into action. Uh, so they're on either side of him. So let's see. Let's get the bandit stats up. Okay, one of them's going to start dragging uh, their leader out of the way of the caravan. Uh, so he drags. he can drag him 15 feet off to the side, which is enough to be out of the way. And then the other five are going to unleash a hail of arrows upon this wagon as it barrels towards them. Uh, so they raise their crossbows as one, and as like a firing squad. Uh, they jump to the sides of the path and start firing. So that is... They are going to be targeting the driver. I need some more. Here we go. What's his... Here we go. Plus two from the shield, though. Right. Okay, so he has armor. That's a hit. That's a hit. That's it. so three hits. One of them is a natural twenty. This doesn't look good. Um, if Lavender has to drive, he will. I have proficiency in land vehicles. Right. Okay. Unfortunately, as these guys line up their crossbows and unleash a hail of arrows as you drive towards them at full speed. Uh, Kendrick, the first arrow uh, takes uh, plunges into the side of the wagon and just kind of uh, the second one hits him in the knee and he winces and kind of lunges forward as another one hits him in the collarbone uh, punching him back into the back of the wagon and kind of getting him stuck there and then the last arrow hits him right between the eyes and Kendrick loses control of the wagon as uh, he remains motionless well, and you hear a high-pitched shriek of Shyla from inside the wagon as another arrow flies whizzes past your ear lavender into the woods and then it's going to be Kuna's turn uh, you're at the back 
So you're probably about a hundred feet out. Okay, I'm watching. So, uh, just to confirm, Lavender, you're just barreling through, like forward, like, like you're not stopping, right? Oh, yeah, they, oh, I, I hope all the carriages are going at top speed right now. And uh, yeah, Lavender staring like slack jawed at the now dead Kendra. Like, uh... so I'm gonna slap the carriage. Like we need to go, like, go, go, go. We need to go. So I'm gonna jump on. On the side, basically. Okay, make an acrobatics or athletics check. Let's see. Uh, I'm gonna do athletics. So that's plus seven. Nice. That is a natural fucking twenty. All right, you hop on. One. You're you're clinging to the side with one arm and one foot. Oh, I'm fucking badass. Thank you for making that nice. Yeah, I was hoping I fucking roll a natural 20 the little time I do roll, goddammit. Fucking finally. Not even like a good natural 20. Cool. Um, so I'm I'll going to- I'll give you advantage in the next attack you make. For the natural 20. Okay, so... Because I have 10 feet of range on my glaive. What? No, actually, I can throw straight. Um... And you you both still have your point of inspiration, don't forget that. That's a free, uh... In, that's a okay, free so can you advantage. Okay, so work again? Like, hit, uh, Kendra, can I use my inspiration to get that disadvantage? Yeah, sure. I, I think, actually, I think he'd be dead anyway. What's his tips? Uh, he might survive, actually. Uh, it hits anyways, so it kills him. Sorry. Oh, well. Um, so, Kuna, so when we're driving, so I'm getting, we're still about to barrel past them. Um, or close, I'm guessing. Can I throw? You're 100 uh, feet out them? and coming up close. So maybe at the end of your turn, you'll be 80 feet away. Okay, so. Kuna, Kuna is because he's on the back. No, wagon. I'm I'm in the back. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm so uh, so that was my action. So as a bonus action, I'm gonna go into a rage, and I'm gonna tell the driver just keep going forward, and I'm gonna basically like, like form a cocoon over him. Oh wait, wait, who's driving the back one? I didn't even think about because because oh, yeah. Shyla's in the front. Uh, we'll say we'll say uh, we'll say Kilberg was driving this one since you said he was in the back with you. Okay, yeah. So I'm gonna basically do like a human shield over him to see if I can like absorb some damage. I am in a rage. Keep that in mind. Yeah, okay. damage. Here's I'll give him half all that cover. Stuff. Okay. Um, yeah, we're gonna barrel through too, but with me being a human shield. Oh, alright. Right. So then all of your companions are gonna take their turns. Uh, so because no one's driving the front wagon, it's gonna kind of start to veer to the side a little bit towards towards. Yeah, I'll let you do it on your turn. It's not gonna hit anything yet. It's just gonna start diverting its course. So it starts kind of turning towards the trees. Uh, so obviously next turn, if nothing happens, then it will hit. Um, then we have. I'm just going through the list of everyone. Charlie's driving. Shyla is. Go are you wounded at all? I don't think you are. No. no. Okay, so she's going to take her short bow and shoot at one of the bandits from one of the slots uh, where there's a gap. Yeah. I'm going to give her a disadvantage because of the nature of this attack. Uh, all right. Looks like she hits one of them. Let's roll this damage. Cool. Hey, that's my girl. I mean, can I roll for horniness? Uh, okay, she she gets one of the bandits. Don't do it. She gets one of the bandits uh, kind of in the hip. Uh as she's shrieking still at the loss of her father, then um, Duke E. Stool is going to turn and run into the woods. Uh, Kathy Bell is inside. She's going to cast... Uh... Yep. Mac, is, he, is Kendrick outright dead? Like, did it double his hit points, or is he just in death saving throws? Uh... I guess he's in death. I mean, I, I don't normally do death saving throws for NPCs, but yeah, I guess he'd be in death saving throws. Well, well, I was just gonna ask, considering that these are all the for flavor. I hope dead. I think be no, that's true. Uh, I'll I'll say he's in death saving. That makes more sense, I guess. Um, so then Kathy will cast guidance on uh, Kuna and the dwarf. So you, you can add a D4. Uh, Durgan, or sorry, Kilberk is driving. Durgan is dead. Um, Albert, I f we forgot about. Okay, I n I don't want to wreck on this again. Okay, yeah. Albert, sorry, I, I didn't realize you forgot one. Okay, Albert's gonna jump forward, uh, onto the wagon. We'll say he was on the wagon already. I I'm sorry, I I didn't realize I was missing someone. 
Um, and he's gonna he's gonna attempt to stabilize Kendrick with spare the dying. So Kendrick is stabilized now. So he kind of picks him up and start turns him over and starts removing some of the air. He snaps the air off the back and pulls it out the other side. Then quickly slaps a bandage on. And then Sifrin, uh, the elf, is going to. He's going to. What's Longstrider do? Okay, he's going to touch the horse next to him and cast Longstrider. And then it's back and top of the round with Lava. Oh, wait, no. There's six other bandits. Sorry. Um, at this point, you guys are almost on top of them. So they're going to start firing at the horses. So. Six attacks. They're firing at the front wagon forces at the moment. That is one, two, three, four hits. Roll the damage. Okay, one of the horses on the front wagon dies, and the other one takes one arrow to the flank. And then it's your turn, Lavender. Uh, I, I grab the reins, and I use my dagger mm-hmm. to cut the reins on the dead horse off. Okay, sure, that's cool. Uh, yeah, make an animal handling check. Animal handling is dead. No, it's no for the other one. The you still horse. have one horse. Oh. <laughs> yeah, you're putting a lot the front of wagon has two horse, horses. Really the, the other ones only have one horse. Okay, uh... 18. 18, that's fine. Uh, this horse is obviously very spooked, but you managed to coerce it back onto the main path. And you guys pass the, uh, bandits. Uh, you're probably about... 20 feet ahead of them at this point, but your wagon is going a little slower than it was before. Can I cast Cure Wounds on the horse to make sure it's okay? Yeah, sure. Go for it. All right, cool. Roll, what's your healing? That's my final spell. It'll be, uh... Oh, hell yeah, Max! 12 hit points back. Alright, sweet. That horse is back to full health. You got the girl. You're okay. Uh, alright. Is that the end of your turn? Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll just look at the halfling with my six wound save. Thank you. Get him up. Safe. Please. Okay, then. So we have uh, six bandits now. They're uh, around where the middle wagon is. Uh, two of them are going to pull out flasks of alcohol from their vests, uh, light, light them, and chuck them at the medicine wagon. And the other four are going to run into the woods. Uh, so they run into the woods, uh, four of them run into the woods, two of them throw these cocktails at the wagon, let's see if these hit, okay, one of them hits, so a five by five cube of fire starts to, uh, ex- like, uh, light in the corner of the medicine wagon on the right side in about the middle, so it's not near the bench yet. Now, the elf and duke are running alongside this, Charlie is, uh, steering this one, and then... Uh, Kuna. Those fucking control flame, right? He might have something that can help. Uh, Kuna, it's your turn. I'll have to look at those. Okay, uh, how far are they now from us? Uh, from you, they're probably about 30 feet forward. Okay. Um, so I'm gonna start chucking axes. I'm actually, I'm just gonna go one axe at, um, obviously the fuck face. No, Jack is getting hit with a fucking. Actually, no, I'm gonna throw a javelin at a fucking. He deserves oh, a I javelin. Oh, I Jack. I'm gonna make another save for him real quick. Okay, he's he. Uh, does 13 pass? Nope. Okay, so yeah, Ooh, he's still have, he's still. Do I have an advantage on that shot since he's prone? Yes, you do. <laughs> Get him, Kuna. Oh. I'm rolling this shit for sure, like manually. Give me a second. Oh, highest number is a 26. A hit? Yeah, that hits. That hits the heck out of him. That does 10 damage. 10 damage, okay. Oh no, 12, 12 damage because plus 2 with the the rage. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. And does that end your turn? Can I... Could, would you say next turn I'll be close enough to like swipe on my glaive? Yeah, you could... Uh, I'd say... Yeah, you, probably next turn you'll be next to him. Okay, so my bonus action will be basically to ready my glaive. And then yeah, I'm gonna, sure. I'm gonna decapitate this fuck. I guarantee it. Okay, and then all of your companions will go. Shyla is going to heal her father for okay five hit points. Yeah, Kendrick's uh sits up. He goes, oh, no. 
Uh, hand me the reins. Uh, here we go, sir. He takes them and uh, whips the horse one more time and says, Looks like we lost one. And you guys keep barreling forward. Um, Duke is nowhere to be seen. Kathy is going to uh, use her short bow. Does Kathy have that is, She does not. And I don't think she could see it from where she was anyways. Uh, she she misses. And then uh, Kilberg is driving. So you guys progress forward. You're now perpendicular, uh, like right next to the bandits. Um, Albert uh, is going to fire his bow. That is a hit. And okay. I'll say he'll target the same one that uh, Shyla hit earlier. So that bandit is dead. Yay. Fuck that guy. And then Sifrin the elf is going to cast a spell to put out the fire. And then it is the bandits. Six bandits. Uh, these are the six on the left side of the wagon. Um, so four of them, again, run into the woods. Two of them stay behind and throw some mollies at Kuna's wagon this time. That is one hit. So, Kuna, a small fire appears on the left side of your wagon. And then it is Lavender's turn. Well, uh, Kendrick is fine, right? He, he has... Yeah, he's okay now. Alright, cool. how far away am I from, uh, Jack? About a hundred, hundred, uh, from Jack? Yeah, probably about a hundred feet. They're behind you now. Cool. I'm... How far away is Kuna in that case? A hundred feet. Alright. I look at Kendrick. Make sure you get everyone safe. I have to make sure they are too. I jump off the carriage, and I start running towards, uh... Uh, you're gonna jump off a moving carriage? I'll have oh. you, you'll have to make a check for that. Hey, never mind. Uh, I would just say an acrobatics check if you want to try it. Yeah. Alternatively, I would even, if you, it, the DC will be higher, but I would let you try to jump to the medicine wagon behind you. Okay, I'll, I, I want to make my way to Kuna, pretty much. I want to make sure he's safe. So, uh, I'm, I'll do it. Jump to the medicine cab. Uh, Alright, roll it. Don't mess up or you'll get run over. <laughs> oh, God. Let me check my stuff. I did not roll very hard. You should have a decent amount of Uh, I have athletics, not acrobatics. That's, oh, wait, that's wrong. I, I shouldn't even have access to acrobatics. I have acrobatics. Uh, either way, um, my dex will be enough. 17. 17. You barely manage to grab the edge oh of the wagon, God. and you oh. hang on by the edge of your fingertips. Your claws actually come out, and you scrape down the sides of the wagon a little bit before climbing back up to the top. Curly actually shrieks, uh, and the elf kind of just looks at you, seeming a little bit surprised and impressed. Uh, and then you you scramble back to the top of the wagon. Kuna, I'm coming! I like to continue running and use... Uh, the. I'll take a dash action to jump over to Kuna. All right, you'll have to make... Uh, you want to jump onto his wagon? Yes, but this time I rolled a 19, so plus my dex will be 23. <laughs> okay, yeah, you jump onto his wagon. Again, the same thing, just barely. I, I was going to say, I would have I reached out and grabbed you. I pull you, I pull you up. Bro, grab. Oh, I give you a hug the moment I see you. Oh, my God. Cool, and I'm so, this is awesome. We need to douse out this fire or figure it out. We need to bring everything back in one piece. We're gonna make this fucking happen. I, I just take out my water skin. I, I bought this on my way over. I'll give you my water skin too. Oh, uh, can I sort of try and just dump them on the fire? Yeah, make a survival check. This will be your bonus action. Uh, I look at you, Kuna. You seem like you'd be better at survival than I am. It's not his turn is the only thing. Oh, oh shit. All right, well, that's, uh, 16. 16's enough. Yeah, the fire, oh you, you managed to get the fire to go out. I was so like, Kuna, I think I need you. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, there's a way I can, I can do a guidance thing to you, like, guide you how to, like, really do it. Oh, yeah, you're right, because my, my key line is here. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, and then, oh, I'm closer to Jack now, right? Yeah, they're they're on right right beside you on either side of the caravan. Yeah, basically, I'm, the I, wagon. Might turn, I might turn you right there. Yeah, I rolled a hit with advantage. Oh, dang. Oh, hell yeah. That's 
Oh, I didn't... Actually, I didn't make my check for when Kuna hit him. Okay, he's out, but he's still prone. I got a 19. Um, yeah, the, that's a 24 to hit. Yeah, that hits. <gasps> oh, Max again! That's a uh, 12 point damage. Okay, total of 12 damage, there we go. <laughs> a javelin and then a spear, both hit <laughs> there. Alright, uh, and then next... My turn. Uh, our six bandits. Uh, on the left side, this is the side that Jack is not on. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, did I, wait, let me check. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah this is the right side. Oh, it, it, this is the side that's... Oh wait, no, because we went to the top of the room. Next up is Jack. Sorry, I was in the wrong spot for this shit. Uh, so Jack stands up. And he's going to... Run off into the woods after firing his. Oh, he, that's interesting. Okay, then he'll take his scimitar. Or, or yeah, he has a scimitar now because I'm using his actual stat block and not his commoner one. Uh. Okay, he's just gonna start slashing at, at the horse. That is one hit and one with the dagger. So that is a oh. total of. The worst part of is he probably won't kill the horse. He's just being an asshole. I can't wait for my fucking turn. Oh my goodness. Your turn's the coming glaze. up. It's it's actually I next know. after these bandits. I know. Trust me, my glaive. I'm just gripping the fuck out of the glaive. All right. What's uh? What happens? Oh, okay. The horse barely survives. All right. It's it's very very hurt. Uh. And then it is the two bandits that are remaining are going to run off into the woods, and it's Kuna's turn. Okay. You have advantage and... on this attack, because I because you rolled a nat twenty on climbing on the wagon. Don't forget you. Uh... Oh, did he just disconnect? <laughs> damn it! Uh, also, that's can... so comedically perfect. Yeah. Oh my god. I was gonna say I literally just have to remind him that he has inspiration. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He already has a bandage, though. Oh, yeah, I'll just say if he has okay. to miss. You can but he also has guidance, so he has a D4 as well. Oh, can you, can you hear me? Okay, so he's in gla- I, I said uh, before I cut out, is he in glaive range? Yeah. Yes. Okay, yeah. I'm gonna take him out. the glaive. There's a 16 hit. Don't forget you have guidance, so add another D4. Oh, then. A 16 hits. Okay, perfect. I'm going to slash this fucker. Nice. Um, 16. 16 damage. Okay. He's looking quite hurt. Should we jump and off? Quite hurt. Jesus Christ. You still have a bonus action. Jump off and kill him. Fight him. Let's do it. I am going to do the flying Kuna. Yes! All right. Is that a bonus action? If you allow no, me. I can't do it. I can't do two attacks. I know. I, I wish I could. Yeah. <laughs> If, if my DM is gracious I'll, enough to I'll allow let me... I'll consume your inspiration to do that. Ooh, I love you. Uh, yeah, yeah you I'm gonna consume it. I am going to use the flying Kuna. If I fucking miss this, it's gonna suck so much ass for my character. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so, Mason, no, you have a Ooh, yes! I'll screenshot out this if you want me to. 17 plus 7 to hit. Yes. 24. That hits. Woo! Yes, I'm gonna shot it anyway just for reference. Give me my 6% battery. Um, okay. Three, do you want to know the damage, like, before I roll it, since you haven't heard that? No, yeah, what's the damage? It is going to be three D10s <laughs> plus five. Jeez, all right. Yeah. Um. Oh my god, you just bodily <laughs> Oh, I hope he's fucking, man. I really hope he's fucking done with this. I rolled uh, 19 damage. 19 damage. Add a D10, because you were already also on a moving caravan. <laughs> 28. Yes. All right, Kuna. How do you want to kill Jack? Oh my goodness. Yes. So Kuna, Kuna stands. I need to put my phone on the charger so I can talk about this. Kuna stands mighty on top of the carriage. I am done with your bullshit. And he basically jumps up in the air with his feet aimed right towards his fucking face. And when his foot lands, he takes his head and like, just takes it down and smashes it to the fucking ground. 
Blood, blood yeah, there, yeah, there's a crack as Jack hits the ground. His head, uh, his head smacks against the, the forest floor. And uh, because I, I still want to give his monologue, <laughs> he's alive, <laughs> <laughs> but is still defeated. I jump off. So, what do you have to say for yourself? <laughs> Let's see here. Oh, also, doing that. That was badass. Holy shit. Yeah, I, I've been holding, I've been waiting for that for uh, a while. Are the caravan, <laughs> do, do you have the caravan stop? No, the, uh, they're going. No, Actually, no, the caravans are going to keep going. Lavender, you're still on the caravan. I, I I, I'll just give this to Kuna. You're going to jump off? Yeah. Okay, are the caravans still going at full speed? I assume so. All right. Then you got the, yeah. I mean, my, my thing is that Lavender would 100% follow Kuna. Not even 100% knowing that he was going to attack him. Okay. Probably thinking he was jumping off to fight him. Okay, then we're out of we're out of uh, combat order. And as Jack hits the ground, and you also roll to the ground behind him, and then stand up and turn around and look at him. Whoa, Kuna. Uh, Lavender also jumps sure. off. Lavender, make an acrobatics check. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's dragged out to the ground. Yeah, you just like jump off and roll. <sighs> and uh, you two stand up and look over at Jack. His uh, his arm is broken. Uh, his weapons lay around him. Uh, and he just looks up at you. He says, <sighs> "You don't understand." I would have been. You know. You know why we had to do this? Everyone's desperate, but you killed that man's brother and put our lives in danger. You have no excuse I will accept, sir. We've been stuck in this forest. This stupid, stupid forest for two years. Two years. We tried to... No, no, no. We tried to rob someone one day when this road was still traveled the woman was alone and she had a whole wagon filled with fancy trinkets and magic things we thought it would be an easy score <laughs> she was a witch she cursed us oh, she all cursed, of us yeah. Shit. she bound us to these woods and we've been stuck here ever since. <laughs> so when Kuna crushes your head in a minute, you're welcome. Your wagon was the only thing that was going to keep us going. Now they're all going to starve because of you. Good. Let bad men die. I can I just like end it? Is it is he done bad. monologuing or? Bad is a relative term. And Kuna, you do it. Yeah, I'm just gonna stomp and keep walking. Yeah, you. You smash his head. Yeah, I'm stumping and I'm just gonna just walk forward like it's nothing to me. I loot his body. <laughs> yeah, of okay, you, do. you get some scimitars and daggers. I pick them up. Scimitars. And... Wait, Kuna, we did all this work. <laughs> uh, you also get thirty-five gold pieces. Nice. Uh, I I run up with all the stuff and I hand the gold to Kuna. Kuna, without you, I don't think I would have made it. So, please, you're a good friend to me. Uh, I think you should take his gold. I, um, I bow and I say, I think we should split the gold. And as we kind of uh, without you here, I wouldn't have been inspired to be as brave as I wish to actually be. I guess Having you by my side has been a great honor. I give you bardic inspiration and I go, my friend, just remember, as long as you have a friend in Lavender Storm, you have a reason to be inspired, as I will always be behind your corner. And I'll be behind yours. I give you a hug. I take it in with one hand. One hand's on the glaive, and the other hand's on, on strapped around you. And a, a, a really good hug, not like a half hug. Like, it's a really good one. And I like to imagine, like, as we're looking at the caravans drive off, you see, you see six horses burst out from the woods and start to chase it. Oh, fuck. Uh, 
Wait, what? And that's where we're going to end the adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you guys, in the end, neglected your duty of protecting the caravan. Wait, they're going, so obviously they're going to the fucking caravan. The elf would easily take out these fucking bandits, please. They're heavily... Yeah. Uh, in all seriousness, though, uh, at some point, right when the horses are about to catch up to this wagon, they seem to just stop. The horses keep going, but the bandits hit what looks like an invisible wall and are flung backwards off the horses into the dirt. Where they then stand up and watch the uh, caravan continue into the distance. Their their hope to stay alive. Fuck you all. Uh, Isaac, since we're walking, me and Kuno just walk right by them. And as we know that they're just like a, a barrier, we just look at them and say, haha, fuck you. They don't even... They, I mean, they just kind of wander back off into the forest. If you enjoyed that episode, then look for more at youtube.com slash wolf 28 Spotify at Building a Guild of Adventures, or if you really want to watch us record our stories in person, or maybe our DMs write for our sessions or build maps, join us at Twitch at the Guild of Adventures. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye-bye.